friends, hello, and welcome back to Rick Two Streams, Create Above and Beyond. How are you doing? It's a Friday! Okay, alright, enough that. It is a Friday! That is definitely worth celebrating, definitely. Oh, it, as I said on Wednesday, has been a bit of a week. But uh, we are mostly mostly there now, so can't complain. And uh, yeah, this time we sort of need to get on with some more stuff, effectively. So let's have a quick look at... Uh, we had a quick look last time. We're going to have another quick look this time. Because we are into Chapter 3, The Catharsis. I think I say that right. So... This says, I mean, it, it looks like a lot. Don't panic. I gotcha. Okay, don't panic. I gotcha. So, we start up here. Working towards a passive supply of the radiant induction coils, you'll be sure to encounter some new and unfamiliar tasks. Once again, it's time to grab the wrench, restock the toolbox, and clear out a new plot. Happy creating. Check the check mark. Take the T. Yum. Right, what does it mean by radiant? That stuff. That stuff right there. The the uh, the coils, the radiant induction coil. That is what you really need to make for this uh, for this chapter. Um, obviously, that's going to take a while to get there. But so there's a couple of other small things that we can tick off on here now. Over here, the uh, the production of refined radiance requires a steady supply of light emitting blocks. So can be torches. You can choose which path you want to take for the necessary automation. I can tell you right now, <laughs> I'm not going to be using torches. I'm probably going to be using a beacon because the beacon's Im immediate and less wasteful. But we'll we'll get that. We'll get to there. We'll get to there. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. Over here as well, an automation alternative to the spirit cycle is to set up a monster spawner of some kind. Click the check mark to skip the fern duplication contraption. I'm going to check it because I can, but I'm not going to skip it, okay? Okay. Over here as well, this is what it meant by the, the spirit option. That is probably what we're going to have to start with sooner or later. But uh, yeah, so that should be everything, kind of. So... This is where it gets a little bit complicated, but meh. So, a, follow a few of the following contraptions involve dropping items onto the ground. Whenever a process will not backstack on overflow, e.g. belt items waiting to like lo load automatically, it's important to toggle the production at a certain buffer threshold. More concretely, when the output buffer exceeds 75%, it stops producing items. So, this is a way to like reduce lag, because if a farm has filled up the various chests you've got and it's still producing that chappy the stockpile switch can actually tell the farm to turn off if it gets over a certain percentage so over 75 percent it will say stop uh, once it reaches below 25 percent so it's showing you're getting low on stock it'll start again pretty handy this guy pretty handy uh, this prevents overflow and machines from spewing items everywhere Mm -hmm. The stockpile switch is designed for this purpose exactly, and uh, it rewards some redstone links. Now, you haven't seen either of these guys. That's the explanation for that guy, the stockpile switch. This is kind of remote access, remote controls, so you can you can link things. If I do the W, because you've never seen this one before, but the, 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 the W is interesting in and of itself, so we'll watch that really quickly, and then we'll get on. And then we'll get on with stuff. But yeah, basically, you can link it using two different items in two different slots. And you can link it to a different, like, redstone link. And then when you trigger that one, it'll trigger the particular one you want to further away. So you have an option. There you go. There's your two items. Iron and tree, iron and tree. That one's got a golden tree. But because this one has only got iron in it, only this one lit up. Kind of cool. So, yeah. That one it gets a lot better later on with some of the other uh, with some of the other create packs. This one gets um, a bit of an upgrade, and you get like a little joy control stick as well. But the, we are running create above and beyond, where it's it's not quite the most up to date uh, version, but it's the it's this is the challenge pack. So later on, you do get like a little um, 
a little remote control thingy that you can use as well and that's very very cool so yeah that's that we haven't done that yet so we can't we can't tick it it is a brass machine if you do a brass machine in a stone cutter you'll get two of these stockpile switches and you can see there it just gives you a bit of a, a bit of a blurb on it so toggles whether or not it should store them or stop storing them etc so we haven't done that one that's fine over here aside from the inductive mechanism i think it's inductive inducive tiff and no, it's got to be inductive right fine Envar machinery builds on a tough metal alloy between iron and nickel. Since the full refinement process of Envar takes several, <laughs> several, it should say several there, not f a few. It is, it is, it, it is more likely a billion steps, because I, I will show you how that works in a second. But uh, we're going to tick it, because yeah, this, this, that, <laughs> yeah, that. What do I mean about that? So if I go over here to Inbar, I didn't realise this would take so long to make on my own world, and then was like, oh my giddy aunt, that is a long, long time to make. So what this is telling me is it needs to be smooshed with our smoosher, with our mechanical stomper. This is the unprocessed Inbar ingot. This is the processed Inbar ingot. This is telling me it needs to be squished 16 times for each ingot yep you heard me right i need to press that 16 times to get that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the way to make that guy let's see if i can find it is to use the nickel compound in a furnace um, they recommend using a blast furnace or an induction smelter you can also just shove it past a, a fan behind some lava as well. To make the nickel compound, it's a nickel ingot and some iron dust, which you already know how to make. That makes you your chappy that you then cook and then squish 16 times to turn into that. Yeah, it's, 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 that's what, that one takes a while. I didn't quite automate that on my own world. Maybe I will here because it, I don't want to sit around and wait for it that long. I just what I did in my other world, to be fair, to be honest, is I, I attached it to one of these guys, and just had a, a water wheel or a windmill just powering this and just constantly squishing it. And every time I passed it and it had already like upgraded, I just took it off again. So you don't have to build a line to do that, but I mean, I, I yeah, I'm not going to do it on that like that on this world. So that, just no, no. <laughs> right. So that is all of the that is all of the gump around the outside kind of explained and all of the things we can tick done now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think we either start here or we start here. But I'm not sure which one I fancy more, this one or this one. Because this one involves exploring and we haven't been exploring a lot, we've been building a lot, so maybe that's the option. So let's sleep. Let's sleep and then uh, we'll see what ferns we already have because we I know we found at least one. So not in there, not in there, not in that one, not in that one, not in that one, not in that one, not in there either. Okay, what did I do with my ferns? <laughs> I thought I put them in safekeeping. I thought I put them in safekeeping. Ah, okay. Alright, so I have the blue one. Uh, I don't know why that was all requested again, unless it's because it's run out of space, which is entirely possible. So, I want you to, please, give. Um, because, yeah, we need to find each one of those, which means we probably are going to go on a bit of a hunt. There's my two slimy fern, and apparently all of my other bits back. You can't be full. You cannot be full. You're not full. Is it because it's only reading off of these ones and not those ones? Oh, well. Yeah, I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> I'll fix it later. I'll fix it later, it's fine. Right, we only have the blue one. Yeah. I was sure we had the other colours somewhere, but uh, apparently not. Yeah, apparently not. Huh. I was sure we had the other colours. Still, that just means more exploring. Oh gosh, those are dead. That's fine. We'll just make some more real quick. And then we'll be giggling all the way home. So let's have some iron. 
uh, <laughs> iron from over here. I, ha I still haven't linked this one up, so just bear with me. <laughs> iron, there we go. We'll make we'll make two sets. Up and up, hudger. Right. So we need 100%. We need the three different ferns. So in order to produce gunpowder, bone meal and ender dust, the peculiar slimy fern can be used as an alternative to monster farms. We will still do the monster farm because it's funny and maybe we'll just make like a pinball machine with the monster. I, I have ideas, I have thoughts, I have plans, so bear with me. This is, however, quite fun to do as well. So roam the lands for a bit, which is what we haven't had the chance to do in quite a while. So we're going to roam the lands and uh, look for the egregiously honestly the words and the words in this i mean feel free to google that one I, vibrant spots of color in the vegetation don't forget to bring a pair of shears which is what we've just done so we are looking for colorful things in the world which i believe that's one of them there i think we have this guy already but so you're looking for something that looks a bit like that. It's it's colourful, it's probably a colour you wouldn't expect on the map. Such as that guy there as well. So that one's one that we've already marked up before. That's the dungeon that we don't dare go anywhere near. Well, we probably do dare. I think that was also a dungeon. ourselves a hobbit hole so these gorgeous gorgeous little hobbit holes um i do recommend using them when you find them and we'll have a look see if we're lucky are we lucky no we're not oh wait no we are Ooh. okay shove those in there for now we are lucky so hobbit holes these little guys these little mud mounds out the way flower that have a door and some bits and pieces and, and usually some windows. They're usually quite distinct. Um, like you'll notice them more often than not if you see the window. They are good emergency bolt holes for craft station furnace, bed and this. So for those of you that have played Minecraft before, you're probably going to recognise what this is. For those of you that haven't played Minecraft before, this is, and you have to be careful because sometimes these are um, infested blocks, so you have to be a little bit careful. But this is a pre made villager breeder thingy because you have a regular, bre a regular zombie here, 
and a infected zombie here it'll also give you everything you need to fix him so the golden apple and the splash weakness i never really bother fixing them at this point i just nab what i can which usually is the things that i don't want to make such as the brewing stand <laughs> and the duck because why not and possibly the frozen heart because you know again there we go there we go so yeah they these things tend to be quite good but i do warn you these bricks sometimes are um infested so just be careful if you start breaking things down there contraption in this sort of space I feel like this sort of space makes sense and that guy's still going around fine so if we yeah let's use this space so if we take one of the demon fruit and toss it onto the ground that is the spirit fire mm -hmm. that is the spirit fire and you can see I've still got plenty left save me now if we take the leaf and uh, toss it in, you'll see there, that one leaf got turned into a fern. Jobs are given. And if I take that fern and cut it, you see now, I've got two leaves for the price of one. That is how you do it. Now, as you can see, the fire's gone out. Mm -hmm. The fire has gone out. So what I'd recommend is you grab a nether block. We're going to pop down a nether rack, throw one of the demon seeds onto it, like so, and then light it. And you'll see now, that's it, it's lit. And it will keep burning because it's it's sulphur and it's on the top of nether rack. 
Mm -hmm. So I never have to worry about it. Because it's just going to do what it does. Yep. Right. So let's have a quick think about this. Because now I want to have this moving by a, um, a windmill. Oh, and that is how you get demon seeds, by the way, is you just break grass and eventually it'll drop. In fact, you'll probably end up with too many of them because they're annoying. You can also get seeds out of them if you, if you, I believe. Hang on, rip. Okay, so you can't do it that way. All right. Make a liar of me again. Thanks, game. <laughs> so, I want to have a windmill powering this. So let's pop this uh, apparently the wrong way up. There we go. Pop that there. That'll do. And then we need... Okay, see so you are still going around. Fine. Good, 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 good. Good. Right. Just gonna, I'm just going to use dirt. <laughs> I'm just going to use dirt. And then we're going to attach some blades to this. Do. Three. And four. Because you need eight to make this guy go. There he is going. Cool. Right, now we want to have access to the, um, the the coggy bit underneath because that's how it will be translating power just down here. See? That guy. Easy peasy. Now, I'm not guaranteeing that everything that I'm putting down right now will stay in its current location because that's crazy talk. Crazy talk. But what will happen is we'll have this moving a belt and we'll, we'll set it up in the circle type thing again. And what we'll have is we'll have two belts that go off in either that direction or that direction. Which will then do the next step with the leaf that we generate, the leaf that we get. Scroll. There we go. Now you're going the right way. Nice. Okay. Bear with me. Bear with me. Boop. To then. Boop. To then that one. So then we can take our leaf again. Because it should pop off and hopefully get on this square. This square. Nice. Okay. That's the first half. So. Turn you around. We'll attach you to there. And then, and I wonder if I can actually just attach that there like that. Because then we put that there. Water shouldn't be able to get too far away around us. Yeah. Water. Which makes that move, but doesn't flood out everything else. Lovely. Hang on. Sleep. So you can see what I'm doing. One there, and then we put a shaft. Hip. Oh my goodness. Okay, that looks like it's probably too much, but let's uh, let's see. Leafy boy. He's moving, isn't he? So let's pop it onto the conveyor belt as though it was going to pling off. Never underestimate the value of testing these things. It doesn't give us much space on the other side, but it's not a problem. Not necessarily a problem. So that then gets pulled through the flame to get converted. Plop! Boing! There. Beautiful. Actually beautiful. Pretend it plinged off. And then watch it convert. Boing! And it gets on the depot! Boom! Okay, that's, a that's actually awesome. That's excellent. Cog, cog, cog. And I want you to take from the depot and. Uh, not quite. What are you doing? Come here. Give me that back. Right. I want you to take from the depot and. No, not. not place onto the board. I'm sure that's what you used to do last... Uh, sir. <laughs> hmm. 
I'm sure I've done that in another game. Ah, do you know what it is? It's this, it's this. Because it can deposit to something else. Okay, so. Depot to shoot. I want you to deposit to the shoot, please. Thank you. Right, now, let's say that guy plings off of here and gets onto that square, which then gets converted in the purple. Which apparently is pulling me somehow, I don't know how. Converted. Lands on the depot. Hand grabs it. Should then place it in the chute. Which should then place it onto... Yes! The chopping board! <laughs> then all we have to do is... You, sir, need to choppy chopper. Chopper chopper. Uh, and then apparently it's going to fall right into the water. Helpful. I might have to take that water wheel down slightly. Because that, that's not helpful. The depot. And then we're going to go fleh, like that. Lovely. Lovely. Because then what happens is if I pop and give that back to this machine again. Uh, put the fern down. Thank you. Take the saw. Take the, the knife. It got onto the depot. Look at that. Like a boss. Like a boss. So, I now want you to take items from the depot. And I want you to place it onto the belt. So, deposit to the belt. Okay. Two of each on both belts. It would work. Okay, hang on. Two of each on both belts would work. So, that, uh, wrong way around. Again. Behave. There. Right, pick up the, pick up the knife. Thank you. So then we've got two on that one. And two on this one. Like so. Two and two. Lovely. Right, so then we go green. <laughs> and green. And those shouldn't clip to that de depot because it's still got it. There you go. Which means this should put it on one belt and then the other belt. One. And I'm going to manually take it off of here for now because I don't want it to go around. And then the other. Perfect. Look at that. So then you've got that going around. And then finally, the blue. <laughs> the blue. And it'll put it on this one, and then that one. Or that one, and then this one. Either way. Right, that is the machine loaded. That is the machine primed, as it were. Because these will plop off. If we wait a day. <laughs> Go boing. Go boing. Come on. There's a good boy. Come on. There we go. And it should then pull it through the fire so it'll, it'll convert. Lovely. And then there's two there. It'll take it off and chop a chopper. When it takes the knife off of the board. Behave yourself. And then it's got one slimy fern and one in the chute. So it chops. Now there's nothing in the chute and one slimy fern there. The purple, this purple should get on one. The next purple should get on the other. That should be this line. Meanwhile, that green one over there is just about to convert. Boing. Meaning this is working. Yeah. Uh -huh. 